Peace. What's going on, crew? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Serrano, and I've been using the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G now for roughly about five days or so. It's been about a week, and I've been really enjoying this smartphone so far after a little bit of use with it. And so I kind of want to share my thoughts and overall impressions of using the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G after five days or one week but make sure you guys stay locked in with me and if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through but if you're already a part of the crew salute So today we're going to be taking a look at the cameras. We're going to be testing the audio, the overall performance of the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G, as well as the overall battery life, which I'm pretty much pleased with overall and some of the main features and focuses that this device can offer you for the price of around $200, right? So let's just start out with the audio sample of the Samsung Galaxy a14 5g and let me know what you guys think about this mono speaker on this device which is gonna be pretty decent when it comes to the overall quality all right So I definitely think that the quality of that came out of the speakers for the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G was pretty decent. It wasn't extremely loud, but it wasn't too quiet either. And it did have a decent em enough, um, you know, um, kick to it where it wasn't like a hollow sound or kind of tinny, but it was kind of in between. So i wish it did kind of have dual speakers with this device but for 199 you know i could see why they left that out because they also did include a lot of other things and we're going to be talking about the build quality now and what i like about this device is that it does have a really nice texture to the back of the phone which gives it a nice premium feel when you're holding it you also do get these really flat edges that kind of have a curve to them but they're not completely flat so the phone won't sit on a table completely when when you're trying to make it stand up but it does have enough um flatness and grip to the sides to where you're when you're holding the phone it won't slip out of your hand no matter what you're doing so i just really like the way that this device feels in the hand and it's got a really really solid premium you know build to it it's plastic edges uh, glass front and pla plastic back but you get the really nice beautiful camera arrangement on the back which is a triple camera setup your 50 megapixel your um you know i'm saying two megapixel for portrait two megapixel for macro and on the front you get a 13 megapixel so you know uh as far as the camera layout it does look pretty decent and when you put it on a flat table it doesn't rock too much or anything like that we do got um dual um, microphones one at the top one at the bottom mono speaker one at the bottom a type c at the bottom for charging at 15 watts with wired connectivity and then a 3.5 millimeter um you know what i'm saying headphone jack on here as well as a side mounted fingerprint sensor on the side of the device with facial recognition included as well as a secondary biometric authentication and then your volume rockers are right above top of that and so the overall design is pretty cool because when it comes to the overall design it's going to be pretty you know boxy and it's going to be a really nice phone to grip in the hand to 202 grams of weight and overall the display looks really nice at 400 ppi pixels per inch and so it's got a 1080 display which is going to be a pretty bright and pretty much any scenario that you're using the device so i found that when i was using this device you know like in multiple situations it wasn't too hard to see the display because it does have a really nice peak brightness um you know what i'm saying the viewing angles were really good at, with the 1080 panel and it also does have a you know adaptive 
you know what I'm saying, display. So when it comes to the display on this device, you're gonna be getting um, some really good, uh, you know what I'm saying, scrolling experiences with it because it has the motion smoothness, adaptive scrolling that adjusts to refresh rate at 90 Hertz. And so when you're scrolling on here, you can also see the adaptive um, display when it's scrolling. And so it makes it a little bit more pleasant to use social media and things to that extent. And so I found that scrolling on here when it came to using games, um, you know, what I'm saying um, social media, web browsing or just shopping was pretty smooth also. So I really like the display when it comes to this device. And as far as the battery, we were getting a 5000 milliamp hour battery with this thing. And so you were pretty much going to get through an entire day with no sweat whatsoever it has really good battery optimization it also has some pretty cool battery features in here tucked away so um on a regular day when i was trying to get through a full day i was getting some really good battery because um after 15 hours you know like that includes waking up in the morning going to work and getting home I, um, I had about two hours screen on time and just i was working most of the day so i wasn't using my phone with the screen on too much but i was checking social media watching some youtube and things to that extent and so i was at, still at 63 percent after a, like a full work day and then when i got home i still had more than enough battery to last me throughout the whole day this device does also have some really nice features when it comes to it because we're getting the side um you know what i'm saying edge panel which allows you to multitask really quickly and then you also do have nfc as well as 5g connectivity on here and it's going to give you some premium features like dolby atmos which is available when you use the bluetooth or the wired connection and then we have um you know android 13 right out of the box but the only thing that i noticed is that this device doesn't have the latest software security patch when it comes to the software updates because when i checked on my device i was still on the november 2000 and 22 but the google play system was updated to january 1st 2023 but it was running the one ui5 um ui core version and so it, this still did need it to be updated when it comes to the software you know i'm saying patches on here so that's something that could be definitely improved because we're in february and i'm still running on the november security patch which kind of sucked but um you know i'm saying so far it was a really good overall experience when it came to social media web browsing looking at the display and the battery life as well so i was really enjoying that and let's jump into the performance when it comes to gaming and things to that extent and we are rocking four gigabytes of ram um, 64 gigabytes of internal storage expandable with the sd card up to one you know what i'm saying terabyte and then we also get the media tech um you know i'm saying dimensity 700 on this device which is going to allow you to game with PUBG mobile call of duty um you know what i'm saying things to that extent and you're not going to be able to um you know what i'm saying take a hit when it comes to performance because this device is a really good game when it comes to a mobile device when it comes to gaming because you're going to be able to get you know what i'm saying um i think it went up to ultra when it came to the PUBG mobile settings for graphics and so i was extremely impressed when it came to the graphics when i was gaming and also the way i was able to actually compete when it came to um you know what i'm saying um shooters and stuff like that it also has some really good enhanced advanced features um, you also have game launcher on here, one handed mode, motions and gestures. So you could use your fingerprint sensor to scroll down on the top um, notification toggle, pick up to take a um, to take a phone call, turn over to mute, double tap to turn off and on. And then inside of the advanced features and labs, you can also do split screen on any app or you know what i'm saying swipe for pop-up window and so this device does have some really nice premium features and so far after using it for about five days i'm really impressed the fingerprint sensor has been really fast and so has the facial recognition on this device and so i was really impressed mostly with the build quality and the performance when it came to gaming but also the battery life and just the feel in the hand felt really ergonomic and i was using it without a case and so 
I was really enjoying, you know what I'm saying, using this device overall for a daily driver as my main phone. And so it definitely has some really good connectivity to the internet. I was using it for GPS navigation as well. And so I found that text messaging on here as well as taking phone calls was pretty decent too. And it wasn't the loudest phone in the entire world when it came to the speaker set, but I definitely was impressed with the overall, you know what I'm saying, phone call quality because it didn't drop phone calls and I was able to hear the person and on the other end and they were able to hear me perfectly fine with the dual microphones but this is just my first impressions with the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G but let me know what you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G if you have it in the comment section down below but I'm gonna be you know I'm saying dropping more videos with this device so stay locked in with me and if you're still here just type down below I'm still here in the comment section so I know you're still kicking it with me and I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. But, you know, what I'm saying follow me on social media and watch another video on the left or the right hand corner and I'll get right back with you. OK, later, crew. Peace.